Can you hear the music? Can you put your thumbs up if you are? I can't hear it playing. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I can't hear the music, Imogen. That's really odd. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happened to it. Don't worry. I'm about to phone Carolyn as well. Okay. But we'll, uh... but no, no, can't hear it. Uh, I'm going uh, to re-mute myself, but I'll let you know if I can. Thank you. I'm sorry, we're without music this morning. I'm just waiting to see if any, we need any more people to join us. Everybody seems to be here. Um, so I think we'll start the service. It's lovely to see you all this morning. I don't know what quite I've done to my computer to make the sound not work when I play music, but I think you can all hear me. Is that right? Could you just, yes nod people are nodding good so the, the voice sound at least is coming over so it is lovely to see everybody this morning i've um chosen for our gospel reading the gospel passage today which is from luke um, i realize i have been remiss in asking people to volunteer to do readings and we'll remedy that um in in the coffee break and try and compile a sort of rota for for the term our study passage today has been suggested by michael and we'll have an opportunity to look at it during the service michael i'll ask you to read it through um when we've said the lord's prayer i'll put it up on the screen and maybe you can read it through and say a couple of words then and then obviously we'll discuss it after we've said the final prayer um, So let us begin our service um, with an opening prayer from Philip Newell, which we've used before. So do join in if you like to at home. As we say, all things come from you, O God, and to you we return. All things emerge in your great river of life and into you we vanish again. At the beginning of this day we wake not as separate streams, but as countless currents in a single flow, the flow of this day's dawning, the flow of this day's delight, the flow of this day's sorrows, your flow, O oh God, in the twisting and turnings of this new day.
and we continue in prayer with a prayer for the life of the world. All things are born of you, O God. We carry within us your light and your life in the mystery of matter and deep in the cells of our souls are your longings for oneness. The oneness of the universe, vast and vibrating with the sound of its beginning. The oneness of the earth, greening and teeming as a single body. The oneness of the human soul, a sacred countenance in infinite form. Grant us your longings for oneness, O God, amid life's glorious multiplications. Amen. And one of the morning prayer canticles, the song of the word of the Lord. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from above, and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. And our reading from Luke chapter 6, verses 20 to 26, Luke's version of the Beatitudes. Then Jesus looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice on that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we come to our prayers for the world and for each other. I don't think that the music I had stuck into the PowerPoint is going to work this morning. So we shall just have to be very quiet with ourselves. If you go to the chat room, you can type in there concerns for prayer that you may have and you want to share 
with all the rest of us. And we'll take about three or four minutes as we hold these concerns and others in our hearts. So for all that we, all the people, all the things, all the worries, all the concerns, all the prayers and praises we have made in our hearts, let us say, merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And let us say together the Lord's Prayer, bringing all our prayers and praises into it. As we say together, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And this is our study passage for this morning. I'm going to ask Michael if you'll unmute perhaps, and say a few words about it and read it to us. Yes, I will, uh, Imogen, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, I don't know too much about Karl Rahner, uh, but I did once have his book, Prayers for Life, which I think, like Gareth, when I spoke to him, uh, or he emailed me, uh, was something that I gave away uh, when downsizing. And it 
was only when I was surfing the net a few days ago uh, as a result of losing this book and seeing whether it was still available um, that I came across uh, another uh, part of, of the net uh, uh, tumbling into this, into this prayer, which I thought was rather wonderful and uh, very different to anything that, that I can remember reading or using. And so I thought it would be good. So those are just a few opening remarks. I'd like just to make a few more after this or when we come to the discussion, but I'll read it now. Oh God, whenever I think of your infinity, I'm racked with anxiety, wondering how you are disposed to me. You must adapt your word to my smallness so that it can enter into this tiny dwelling in which I can live without destroying it. If you should speak such an abbreviated word, which would not say everything, but only something simple, which I could grasp, then I would breathe freely again. You must make your own some human word, for that is the only kind I can comprehend. Don't tell me everything that you are, and don't tell me of your infinity. Just say that you love me, and just tell me of your goodness. I don't know whether, Imogen, you want me just to continue with a few remarks or whether to keep those until we come to the discussion. Shall we say a final prayer and then we can open it up? I think so. I yeah, think that so. Would be lovely. But what, what, a, what, a powerful, what a powerful thought it is. Mm. Uh, thank you, Michael, for sharing it with us this morning. Let's say our final prayer, which will be on the next slide. And, and then I'll take my, my words off the screen and we'll all be able to see each other. But let's say, this is another of Philip Newell's lovely prayers. So let's say together, blessings, blessings on, on the day, day born of born night. Of night. Blessings, blessings on, on the earth, wedded, wedded to heaven. heaven. Blessings on creatures adored by angels. Blessing on our bodies alive with spirit. Blessings on our minds filled with dreams. Blessings on our hearts opened by love. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Amen.